guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then my name is Ane, and today I thought I would do a little bit of a more different video. I don't actually think I've seen this before, I've seen things similar, but I wanted to film a Christmassy makeup look because obviously it is very, very close to Christmas, which is super, super exciting. But I wanted to give it a bit of a twist, and I slid into the DMs of my favourite YouTubers on Instagram and thought I would let them decide different parts of my makeup, whether it was the colour or the products that I should use. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to press a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And without further ado, let's just get started. So I'm just going to move this out of my face with these cute little marble hair grips. That is better, looking a bit wacky, and please excuse the monobrow of spots that I have, um, my advent calendar, which is just up there. Basically, every time I eat chocolate, I get spots, so if I decide to eat my whole advent calendar, I will get about 24 new spots for Christmas. I'm just going to go ahead and prep my skin with the Revolution Baking Oil. This is actually really, really great. Um, it's actually cleared up my skin quite a lot, she says, after eating chocolate. Um, but I like to put it on before I do my makeup, um, just because I feel like it's actually doing something. I don't actually know what it does, but I like it. And the first person I messaged um, was Tiffany Hunt. Her Instagram and her YouTube channel is Illuminati, um, which is a pretty cool name. Um, if you watched Glow Up on BBC Three, um, then she was one of the contestants and she also was part of the um, NYX Face Awards. And she is so, so incredible at makeup. Literally, please go check out her Instagram. I asked her whether I should go for a glowy makeup or a more matte kind of makeup and she said glowy so that is what I'm going to do also why I kind of used that oil because as you can see um, it's made my face super super shiny so I'm going to use my normal moisturizer which is the Ole hydration and radiant glow um, this has got like a glow already in it so I'm gonna whack some of this on my face like so. I'm actually running out so that's why I just put it on like that and not like a normal person. I'm looking super super glowy at the minute. I'm going to use this liquid um, highlighter as well which is by e.l.f. I got it in a set, I think it was last Christmas, um, just with a highlighter. It's really liquidy, like it comes out with loads of liquid, it's literally squirting all over me. So I'm going to squeeze a bit of this onto my hand and then just place it onto the part of my face where I would normally have my highlights. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of rub that in. I'm literally so, so excited for Christmas. I've got one week of university left and then I, well, I think it's less than a week. Yeah, it is. It's just Monday to Friday the next week. And then my dad is coming to pick me up from uni and I am going home, which I'm so, so, so so excited for. It's the first time I'm going to see my dog as well since um, coming back here to uni so I'm super super excited and hopefully she'll be excited to see me. That is all blended in which I really really like the look of so far. Next I am going to use my normal foundation so this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the colour 1N2. And then what I've, oh, I've got this everywhere. What I like to do is also add a little bit of the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Now I bought this in Boots the other day because I didn't realise they sold it and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I really want to try it. So I was testing out the colours on the back of my hand and I bought quite a dark shade. Like I wore this to uni the other day just by itself and my face looked almost like green because it's definitely not the right shade. So that is why I like to mix it. I literally put the tiniest bit onto the back of my hand and then just add it into a few of the gaps between the Estee Lauder one. And then it should all blend nicely together. If I can find my beauty blender, here it is. I panicked them because I didn't think I'd press record and I was like, oh no, please, but it's fine, we're nine minutes in. 
Okay, so that is all of that blended in. I am looking very, very, very glowy at the moment. It is hard to tell if I look that glowy on camera. It's because my ring light's over here. Um, as you can see, it's very bright, so I don't know if it's just because I'm in front of that. Um, I'm just gonna take the foundation off of my lips. And I did go ahead and put some of the more Milani and just literally dot this over where my spots are just to give them a little bit more coverage. Now, so I think I've done what Illuminati or Tiffany said and have very glowy skin. Now the next YouTuber that I asked for some help was Lush Leah. Um, she's just a really cute girl so I thought I would message her and ask whether I should bake um, or not bake my makeup and usually sometimes I just like to dab powder under my eyes and maybe kind of bake that a little bit um, but she actually agreed with me and she said that she doesn't normally bake um, but she does use a little dab of powder um, with a sponge which is fine with me so um, I'm just deciding whether I need concealer or not hmm. I might go and put just a little bit of the Lasting Perfection Collection, um, an oldie but a goldie, on underneath my eyes, just to brighten them a little bit before I go ahead and powder. Okay, so that is all blended in nicely. And I am going to go ahead and take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Translucent, can't speak, Translucent Loose Setting Powder, um, some of that into the lid and as Leah said I'm oh I put way too much into the lid as Leah said I'm going to take a clean beauty blender well the one I use for powder take a little dab of this on like so and then just dab this in to where I just put the concealer to highlight and set those areas although I don't want to set the rest of my face too much because this really 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 mattifies and I don't want to mattify all of that um, shine and glowiness I've just put into my skin otherwise there's no point of me really putting it on there so I'm just gonna put this I've put quite a lot on my nose <laughs> I'm gonna wipe the excess off in a minute and I am going to dab a little bit over the spots as well because I don't want those to show more when the rest of the makeup wears off. So that is all I'm going to do, as Leah said, dab on the powder with the sponge and then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and wipe the excess on around the rest of my face um, just to set it a little bit but without removing too much of the glow so get rid of that and as you can see it's concealed the spots I had quite well so the next step is from the lovely Tilia and her channel is amazing I loved her mince pie video the other day I'd love to eat, test out different mince pies I think that would be a super super good challenge and um, so I asked her if I should use either the Too Faced Chocolate Cilial Bronzer, if I should use a NARS one I have, or if I should use the Holy Grail, and that is the Hoola um, Benefit. And she went ahead and said the Hoola Benefit. Um, so I'm going to use that one. Although, as you can see, I've hit pan very, very, very well. It's basically all gone, I haven't just hit pan. Um, it's just left around the corners. So I'm going to take the same brush that I used for the powder because this brush is a favourite of mine and I'm literally just going to go in here and try and dig out as much product as I can and then use this to just bronze up and contour my face a little bit because that translucent powder has kind of made me into Casper the Ghost a little bit. So I'm just going to add it to my hairline and blend it in. Um, I forgot how much I love this bronzer actually so I think she chose very well. Um, with this one, I think it's a lot of people's favourite. I hate it when my nose ring does that. It looks like I'm picking my nose when it's like this, but I promise you it's not. I'm literally just turning my nose ring on. Someone else has baby hairs. You just sometimes I literally just want to rip all of them out. They seem to grow really like short and stubby, and I don't know what's happened to them. They never ever used to be like that. Um, 
they seem to get literally everywhere. Right, so is that all blended out? I can never really tell. So that is how my face is looking at the moment. And I'm just going to take this brush and kind of swell into all of these um, blushes. I don't actually know which ones they are. What are they? They are Dandelion, Rocketeer, Sugar Bomb and Coralista. I did love the Dandelion one. This has like um, bits of highlighter in it as well. So, pardon me. So I'm going to put my brush into all of these like so. And then just add that on and kind of blend it in to my contour. I really like doing that. Um, I don't know why. I feel like it just lifts the face a little bit. Now, the next step for me would be brows and I messaged the lovely Nikki who I um is, was also on the program Glove Up on BBC3 um her YouTube channel is Nikki's Secret and I actually entered a giveaway on her Instagram and kindly I can't believe it won um so some of the products I'm using today were actually from Nikki's giveaway which is amazing she's doing a giveaway literally every day so if you follow her Instagram I'll link it somewhere on the screen here as well you could even be in a chance of winning like I never ever this is the parcel that I won which has some amazing goodies in it and um, before I started my makeup I actually used this oh Herrickson um, does this make my face look fat uh, glow facial which is incredible and um, also makes your skin like tingle a little bit and I was kind of thinking am I allergic to this but no <laughs> I'm not um, so that is super amazing so I'm going to use some of the products today but I was lucky enough to um, get a browsings pro palette from Benefit and I know people say that Benefit um, brow products, ugh, brow product, I can't say it, brow products are amazing I've, I've never actually tried any of them, I kind of just brush through, use a pomade, um, haven't really done much to my brows but I have been loving this so so much so it just comes in a little palette like this, um, super super cute, I don't know whether this is like a Christmas edition because it looks like it has like snowflakes, it might be stars, it might just be a normal one um, and then you open it up and it's got a lovely little mirror inside and then it's got um, three brow waxes, then powders and two brushes as well. So I thought it was apt to ask Nikki um, how I should do my brows for this video and the option was either like a super sleek brow or a fluffy um, kind of big fluffy brow and she said fluffy always something like that I'll pop the receipts up on here of the message um so that is what I'm going to do I don't say I normally do a fluffy brow I kind of just draw under so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little spoolie that comes in the packet um I don't know why I didn't take the plastic off I quite enjoy it being on there <laughs> so I'm going to take this little spoolie and I'm going to brush my brows up and then I am still going to take a little bit of the wax but put it on to one of these angled little brushes and just kind of draw the stroke along the bottom and then kind of add some stroke like effects. <coughs> oh I had like a really bit big tickle with my throat then. I feel like I'm slouching loads in this video. Um, so I'm going to go and take the spoolie again and then just drag that up once more. Just kind of run that through. So there's not a lot of product in there at all but it's all kind of brushed and pushed up. So it's kind of just tinted um, the hairs of the brow and just brush them up so they are nice and fluffy. And I actually quite like how that looks. I'm so excited to do my eyes. I'm rubbish at eyeshadow and I've kind of, well, the people that I messaged have set me up for a big challenge here because first of all, I messaged Beauty Spectrum, who is Molly. Um, so I asked what kind of eyeshadow style I should go for. Should I go for a halo eye, a cut crease, or anything she could choose? And she chose a cut crease always, I'm pretty sure she said. So I'm going to do, well, 
I say do, attempt to do a cut to crease but I'm going to make it a half cut crease because that's a lot easier and I think it goes a lot better with another YouTuber's decision. Now I actually can't believe she replied because she is one of my favourite, favourite, favourite YouTubers and it is, it's Sabrina. Um, I mean you'll probably know her from her um, going to get her makeup done at Beauty Counter series which is, she has been doing at the minute which is incredible um, but she is also the face of the Mark Hill pick and mix um, wand which is super super incredible as well and I asked, she literally replied within like two seconds of me sending the message and I was so surprised but I asked her what kind of eyeshadow colours I should use and or style I should go for for the Christmassy um, holiday look and she said a red gold style which is super exciting and I think it goes really well with the cut crease so I'm going to use the trusty blood sugar palette Jeffree Star um, for the red part of the eyeshadow look because obviously how could I not with these colours and then I'm going to use for the first time the sultry Anastasia Anastasia if you want to say it um eyeshadow palette for like the gold part because I believe there is like a goldy kind of colour in here, bronzy kind of coppery gold and I was lucky enough to receive this in Nikki's giveaway um so yeah there are some beautiful colours here oh the plastic's just fallen off um as you can see so I'll probably use some of oh god it's all falling now my camera just shuts down after half an hour of filming it decides it doesn't want to film anymore and you have to start it again try to change settings i don't know how to do it so i'm going to attempt to do this eyeshadow look now and i'm super super excited it might take me a very very long time but i'm yeah i'm ready to give it a go and i also cleaned all of my makeup brushes the other day um because they were stained from me using them for my Halloween makeup looks that I hadn't cleaned them for, which is really, really bad. And they had black face paint all over. And I'm gonna go for this shade up here, which is called Bloom. Now, I was going to do my eyes first because I was scared of fallout, but I didn't want you to have to see my face without any makeup on for quite a while of the video. So I thought I'd do the rest of the makeup first. Right, so I'm gonna take that and do I need to prime my lids? I'm going to take the collection concealer and literally just dab some of that on each eye but I'm not going to set it. Oh this brush isn't clean properly and there's black in there. So now that colour is all blended out, I'm going to go into the Jeffree Star palette and I am going to go in first with Cherry Soda and then I'm going to go in with Prick and then just blend that all together um, from the outer corner into the inner corner. Okay, so now I'm happy with how they have all blended together. So I'm going to have... I'm going to speak. I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of a darker, like purple shade, just into the outer corner to kind of deepen the crease a little bit. I have done that, and I also added a bit more of the prick colour into um, the centre of my eye a little bit. Now I'm going to take. Um, a bit of the Revolution Conceal and Correct in the shade, I think this is like CO White. Um, I bought this for my Halloween makeup looks, but I'm just gonna use a little bit on the back of my hand and grab a flat brush. Mm, maybe one like this, we'll see how I get on. Um, and I am going to start just mapping out the crease line. So as you can see, I've mapped out 
where half of it is going to go and then I'm just going to take my finger and dab along this line here so it's not as harsh and I'm just going to take a bit of the glucose colour from the Jeffree Star palette which is a white and just go over this to set it a little bit then I'm going to go back in with one of the brushes I used earlier and use the similar shades that I have used here and kind of just blend this all together. Okay, so now this is where the gold comes into the look. So I'm going to grab a new brush and go into the Anastasia Sultry palette and I'm going to go for the colour Steampunk and see how that comes off. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Look at that on the brush. So I'm just going to drag this along. I'm going to grab my finger and go into the colour Donut in the Jeffree Star palette, which looks incredible. I will do a swatch on my hand here. Oh my god. So I'm going to take this and run it over that colour. And then take a big fluffy brush under my eye and just wipe away the excess which it hasn't done very well because it's literally just stuck there and then I'm going to grab a thin brush and take the darker shade we used earlier and just run this underneath the waterline and I quite like how high up it's gone because it does just lift the face so that is the style I'm going for on that side so I'm gonna go ahead and recreate it on this side I am back I added a bit more of the gold I'm gonna bring you closer so you can see in the light now the next thing I asked um another youtuber who is has um who's obviously great friends with Byron and Anna they've re just released a podcast together and I messaged her and asked whether I should do winged eyeliner winged liner or not because she is the queen of winged liner I don't know how she does it but every time it literally looks amazing and I'm so crap and doing this right now could ruin the look but she wanted me to do it so I'm going to do it and I'm going to attempt to put winged liner on I also um, thought to make this look pop even more I'm going to add a pair of fake lashes I just need to move because I've been sat in this position for a while and it's hurting my legs um but I'm going to use these ones which I also got on my giveaway which pardon me which is literally so incredible um I've never ever tried anything Colourpop before but I got these Colourpop Mammy falsies and I'm so excited to use them um they are beautiful so I'm going to go off camera a second um, and do the winged liner and then put, put the lashes on and then I will come back to you and see what look we're going to go for for the lips. Okay, so I am back from drawing my um, eyeliner on and putting my fake lashes on. I am the worst person for putting fake eyelashes on ever. But to be honest, I think these are the best I've actually put on and I love, love, love how they look they are so big and voluminous and i think they are perfect for the look now the next part of the look is just to put some more highlights on so this is the pixie from head to toe glow y or glowy powder and this is in the shade wednesdays um it's like a beautiful pink color i will show you now um so this is what this looks like and i am just going to take this on my fan brush um swirl it in there and then place a little bit on these places all oh, my inner corners are falling off already i'm literally so so bad at putting fake eyelashes on oh, i'm just going to leave it like that for now you can't even see that much so i'm not going to put it too much here because obviously it's very very glowy now the last thing to complete the look is lipstick and I feel like a red lipstick would go perfect with this look however I asked Steph Toms um, for her decision on a makeup look and stupidly I forgot to say it was a Christmas makeup look and just asked for a lipstick colour and she said blue so that is what I'm going to do this is the stay the night collection lip tattoo in this bright blue color and to be honest it does look amazing and I am excited although I don't think it will go very well for the with the look I'm excited to put it on so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on for you now this lipstick color is literally the brightest thing I've ever ever worn on my lips look at it it's literally like 
so so shimmery I don't know what noise my mouth just made that it made such a weird noise but although this doesn't look great with the red lips I feel like if you were to do like that scaly mermaid thing it would actually look great so that is the finished makeup look I am just going to prop you up here again and take my hair down so this is the finished makeup look all in all I actually love the makeup all together and Although this lipstick doesn't go with the look at all, I actually really like the lipstick individually. I think this was a great idea for the video and I'm so so thankful for all of the YouTubers that I messaged that replied. And if you liked this video, please smash a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more content like this. I really enjoyed doing this video. I think the whole concept from messaging the YouTubers to getting them to reply in their decisions and actually creating this festive um, Christmassy kind of New Year party look um, has been super super fun and I've loved it so yeah thank you for watching and I will see you very soon for another video bye guys also the funniest thing ever <laughs> just happened so I'm trying to get my blue lipstick off and it literally won't come off like it stained my lips so bad <laughs>